The man on trial for murdering a high school student faced his ex-girlfriend today. Arely Escobar could face the death penalty if a jury convicts him in the killing of 17-year-old Bianca Maldonado. Chris Sadegui live now at the courthouse where most of the testimony focused on a key phone call today. Chris? Yes, Leslie, it was a call that Escobar's girlfriend made to him, and when the line picked up, she said she heard a woman moaning and screaming. She began to get really concerned the next day when she saw the news reports. Those reports were that 17-year-old Bianca Maldonado, who lived in a nearby apartment complex, had been brutally raped and murdered. Right away, her suspicions about Escobar went up. Zoe Lopez is that girlfriend. She tried four times to call him the night of the murders. The fourth time is when the call connected, and she heard the screams that went on for about four minutes when she asked him about it later she says Escobar told her he was watching a war movie she would spill it all out for police after seeing that the girl had been killed and Escobar's own sister Nancy and also other family members testified that that night they had gone out and her brother appeared fine but later that night her mother called her asking if he'd been in a fight because he showed up at their house with blood on his clothes and marks on his face Arelli would tell them that he had been jumped by some people in the parking lot of a club. Now, the defense tried to fight some of Zoe Lopez's testimony in cross-examination by getting her to admit that she was mad at Escobar at the time and really trying to paint her as a jilted girlfriend. If you want to read more in-depth details about the testimony today, you can log on to our website, kxan.com, and click on this web story. We're live at the Travis County Justice Complex. Chris Seidegui, KXAN, Austin News.